Yeah, he's happy now because he got to come on stage, people. See, this guide dog wants to be in the spotlight. Well, our southeastern guide dog puppy, Wrigley, is almost seven months old. So his goal now in his training is to enjoy new adventures. So we go out and about practically every day. Well, one of his bigger outings so far was on Tuesday night. He has a puppy group that we train with, mm -hmm. and we had an outing to the Tampa International oh Airport. Wow. Wrigley did great. Now, we call these exposed because you have to think about all the different things the dogs are exposed to. Mm -hmm. Smells and sights and noises and crowds and I think he, he got to go TSA. He got yeah. to visit TSA. TSA but I, what I think all of us who were there with our training dogs enjoyed was really the responses we got from the weary travelers. So I took some video to share. Here's our puppy group and oh, all wow. the dogs. There's my daughter and teenager Reagan with Wrigley. So you can see it's a big group and some have more energy than others. So we were sitting waiting patiently. TSA patiently explained the rules as we were getting ready to ride the train. There's can you Wrigley. imagine? Imagine there's Wrigley loading 10 squirmy labs all under all same age. about a year, six okay. months wow. to a year, oh. onto the train. Now, a couple funny stories from the train. We were packed in there like sardines. Yeah. Oh, they want to play. Nobody <laughs> used the bathroom, but there were some kids who were afraid of dogs on that train, and there were oh. 10 there. Oh. Yeah. So that definitely made it a little more entertaining. Yeah. But yeah, no, the dogs do really well. I mean, they are trained to ignore distraction. Oh. So, you know, they, they want to talk to each sure. other, and they want to sniff the person next to yeah. I mean, you just have to keep drawing them back in. But what about that motion when, you know, when the train first yeah, takes moving. off and moving and you're, you know, you know, they this guy, that? this guy does this. Yes. I mean, he really he is. Everywhere. He's not <laughs> sleeping so much as he just kind of chills. Actually, well, might now he might be sleeping. I don't think we entertain <laughs> him all that much. <laughs> yeah, but you could uh, lay down when a car is moving like that mm -hmm. and you're safe. Absolutely. You're steady, so that's a good choice. Absolutely. And most of the dogs did not lay down on the train because I do think that motion, that motion was a little different. One. But we, they were told to sit and they just sort of, you know, hung yeah. out there. But TSA was a lot of fun because, you know, there's the beeping. They had it set so it beeped, but he has to sit. I walk through to scan. Oh, he yeah. walks through to be scanned. So if I was visually impaired, I would be guided through. The dog would be waiting. Oh, and look, he's sad. And then he would be guided through. And from TSA's point of view, they explain not only is it their job to help securely make sure the human goes through, but they also, you know, they don't know if the dog's going to lunge at them. I mean, uh -huh. they know he's yeah. a trained service animal, but it is still an know. animal. Yeah. You never know. So they have to carefully watch the dog. But then not only do I need to be patted down, but they do also check the dog. Uh -huh. So I liked speaking to the TSA agents to understand to them how important was that the dog be able to be touched by a stranger. Well, Wrigley thought it was time for belly rub. So he, uh, <laughs> he had absolutely no a little problem. Comfortable there. They also told me that some of the dogs Dogs react differently when their human is touched because you know there is a connection and yes. dogs don't always like their human to be touched by a stranger now he did not have any aggressive problems or anything like that but he watch him he watched intently so as she let, touched me I know you guys say call them exposures but is one exposure enough for the dog to remember future like times when they go through believe it or not yes you oh, know the really? more the merrier in an airport yeah. is not a place that we can ask TSA to take us yes. over and over uh -huh. and over because right. this was very nice of them to take the time to do the training um, but no he will now know the motion of something like a train. We did a lot of elevator riding yesterday mm. because finding an <laughs> elevator, <laughs> oh Wrigley, finding an <laughs> who me? <laughs> finding an elevator is uh, an important skill for uh -huh. a guide dog. So mm -hmm. we worked on you know where the elevator was and do, and well, how to do that. He's they here take every day. Wow. We they really take the, enjoy him yeah. here. Would they take the dog through one of the scans? Because I'm just thinking, what about with DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency? Yeah. If somebody dog becomes a mule. Right. I don't know. That's a good question. You know, in his case, all he has to do is walk through the scanner. I don't know if he would ever need future scanning right, other right. than that. But, you know, it's all about getting him exposed to in different the back things. Room. Yeah, exactly. Getting used to yeah. it. Uh -huh. Getting used to the many things that happen in this world so that he can help someone else enjoy it. That's our goal here. And you can find all of Wrigley's adventures because he does lots of crazy stuff with us at Wrigley's View, Instagram, and Twitter. And apparently all he wants to do here is hang out on the stage. because Go to sleep. He's happy yeah. now. <laughs> all right, we're going to be back. He's going to have to move because we got Workout Wednesday coming with Tilt Cycle. I'm going to join him. <laughs>